What's going on guys, Zed Games here with the easiest, most basic beginner's guide to the Rev Caves. So first off, you're going to want some extremely cheap gear, and that is exactly what I am wearing. You've got a snakeskin cap, or bandana, your amulet of glory, Dragonstone Bolts E. These things are extremely cheap and will absolutely uh, wreck. Black Dehyde, or the best Dehyde you can wear, a rune crossbow, magic shield extremely important here to have a bracelet of ethereum and make sure it's loaded with some uh, ether in there you you probably on honestly only need 50 you don't need 500 it'll collect as you go um additionally this is what my invo's looking like because bastion potions cost like um, i think they're a mil each right now um i'm using a range of potion and a super defense potion uh, blighted restores are slightly less than regular stores and then just a bunch of combo eats for food I have a revenant cave at their teleport out only 200 GP That's the entrance I'm gonna use although there's several different entrances which I'll talk about next uh, I also have a ring of recoil one click telly if you don't have one click telly then your amulet of glory is fine and a looting bag. If you don't have a looting bag, you'll get one as you go there. Now, when you've all geared up in this cheap gear, you're going to want to skull. Why? Well, let me show you. Even if you're completely sculled and you don't protect anything, you are risking a grand total of 200k, 185k. Most of that is just food and pots, okay? If you protect your item, okay, you're keeping your glory. Now, the reason you're going to skull is you'll get a better chance and better rewards. And also, I'm telling you guys, you will make this money in 10 minutes at the Revs Caves, okay? So what I would recommend doing is buying about five sets of this armor if you can afford it, okay? At least two or three, because there is a chance you could die. Um, but that being said, if you don't have your PK skull active, you're losing about 150k. All right, now before you go out there, you're going to want to skull up. So I recommend buying an Amulet of Avers. It is only 680k. You're not going to bring it with you. What you'll do is you pull it out of your bank. Okay, when you wear this, it gives you a PK skull. Boom, done. Now I'm going to put it back in my bank and take my telepod and head out to the Revenant Caves. But before we go there, I'll show you guys the other options. This is where I'm going to go. prefer to stay a little bit uh, in lower level wildy where you can automatically tele out. You can also enter the Revenant's Cave uh, from here right beside the Bandit's Camp and use a Burning Amulet Teleport or uh, use the level 27 Obelisk. Yeah, you need it in your player own house. Anyways, if you know, you know to get in here at the Revenant's at level 27 wilderness okay so both of those you should be able to tell you with either your royal seed pod or uh, your glory so if you come if you enter in here now all of them connect uh, there will be several different monsters throughout okay but I will show you uh, where I'll go in through the revenants and then I'll head south okay and go all the way down there's a bunch of um, agility shortcuts many of them are quite high 75 89 okay so i'll be entering from up here at the top and coming along the left side and going downwards showing you guys the easiest route the dragons are located here although that's where you'll run into the most pkers but to be completely honest with you in this gear people are going to take one look at you and probably just leave you alone all right let's head inside and uh, i'll show you what what we can attack so inside the revenants cave this used to be where multi-line was back in the day I would highly recommend attacking the Revenant's Knight, profit-wise, but most people would probably prefer to be a little south. So, run all the way down. Okay, there's two knights there if you want to go back and forth between the two. When you have your bracelet on, all the creatures are basically going to do no damage to you anyways. Okay, there's a ghost here. I would keep going south even further. Okay, if you're worried about dying or, you know, at all, and you're just getting used to going into the wilderness... I'm not going south. Uh, you you want to go far south so that you're at 30 wildy and you can automatically telly. Okay, so here's a few people. Don't worry if you see people scald, right? Um, uh, they're just scald because you get better drops here. Okay, so that's a, one room you can go to and you're close to being able to telly out. But all throughout the cave, there's different monsters. Okay, 
any of these monsters have a chance at dropping the rare item. I did forget to mention is that you probably want to bring a stamina so that you can run around the caves, especially if you're getting attacked. And I'll just show you what a kill looks like, but basically uh, these guys aren't really going to do any damage to you. Okay, as long as you're wearing your bracelet uh, and it's loaded up with some uh, dark ether, then you'll be fine. By the way, you can also toggle this bracelet on and off. So it's toggled on, which means when you kill whatever you're killing, the knight, the dragon, anything, then um, it will automatically absorb the uh, ether and it'll go into your bracelet now if you're lower level i recommend going down to the hill giants where i showed you before or even like any monster in this cave has a chance of dropping it even the imps so really you know you can get any good rewards from any monster ultimately for me you just want to kill as many as you can okay the, the best monsters are of course the knights and the dragons and then the harder monsters to kill but in this gear even at max stats right you're seeing it's a little bit difficult to kill these and it'll be a little bit slow you could also use a blowpipe but you do risk it if you die um, or of course a crossbow but even more risky um, that's pretty much it okay now we'll jump into the loot and stuff like that that I've got and that's that's it if you want to have your quick praise set to I'll tell you this mage augury because that also gives you a mage bonus and protect item. But, I mean, ultimately, you're just going to collect a few things. And when, when you feel you have maybe two, 300k of loot, I, I would just bank it and then come back. And sometimes that'll be in three kills and sometimes that'll be in, you know, 20 kills, whatever. But as soon as you have a couple hundred k, whatever you want, go bank it. For me... I maybe push it a little bit more here and there, but it's up to you. So if, if anyone does end up attacking you, you just hit your quick prey and run away. Try to catch a gap on them or get to any exit. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's have a look at some of my loot. These screenshots will give you a pretty good idea of what to expect on an average trip. Here's a full looting bag, uh, usually around between four to 500K. Lots of uh, rune ore, rune items, bars, runes, and other noted belongings. Now, it is an important thing to note. If you wear an amulet of Avers, all of these items will be noted. So you'll have a lot more room, uh, and you can stay much longer, but you'll be risking not only that amulet, also all of your loot. So I, I find that once your looting bag's full, it's a good time to leave. All right, here's some of the bigger drops I got, as you can see, and I was even lucky enough to snag an AGS. Lastly, if you look closely on the side, the loot tracker will show you what I actually got from each different monster in the cave. Uh, in total, you're looking at 3.3 mil in just a few hours. This is one night uh, at revs there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like it. If you like these kind of guides for new players, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.